Okay, if you fish mayflies, specifically betas or blueing olives, you need to watch this list. We've compiled our top 10 fly patterns to use. In general, we're looking at springtime and sometimes a fall emergence, at least here in the west in the tailwaters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover kind of soup to nuts, your nymphs all the way up to your adults with emergers in between. Number one, we're gonna start with a very relatively heavy sinking betis nymph, and that is the arrow betis. This one is one of my designs. One of my favorite patterns for early on in the hatch or early on in the day when I'm just gonna be nymphing betis patterns, it will get down fast, it's heavier, and it's got a little bit of flash. The fish seem to like that one a lot. Number two fly comes in with Lance Egan's Silver Bullet Betis. The Silver Bullet Betis is a little bit lighter. It's a jig style hook, so it can be used if you wanna use a Euro nymphing rig, as could the Aero Betis. Uh, nice thing about this is it's very easy to tie, and it also has a really slick, quick to sink profile. So this one will get down as well. I'll also start to use this one maybe as the hatch starts and, and gets progressing. The bugs are coming off the bottom, the fish are gonna focus on them as they start their emergent cycle. One of my all-time favorites comes in at number three, and that is the Beadhead Bar Emerger. The Beadhead Bar Emerger by John Barr is arguably one of the better betas patterns that I've ever used. This is more of an emerger pattern, so I'll use this as a dropper on a an adult mayfly, or sometimes you can use it with a little lightweight indicator as the fish are starting to move towards looking at the surface. And they're maybe not eating off the surface yet, but as they start to look, these little betas are starting to pop out of their shucks or start to make that movement. And so this, I'm gonna fish higher in the water column. Can't go wrong with this one. One thing to keep in mind, if you tie flies, or if you don't tie and you wanna just buy them, we're gonna have a link where you can click and it's gonna show all the tutorials for the ones that we have tutorials. And then you, if you don't tie, we have them listed there for sale on our website as well. Coming in at number four is probably one of the more popular betas patterns in the world, and that is the RS2. So in this version, I like for the betas hatch, I like to fish this one unweighted, which it typically is tied, and fish it beneath or right at the surface film. The RS2 is a great emerger pattern. You can fish it uh, in, a, in a bunch of different conditions. The cool thing about the RS2, as well as some of these others, you change up the color and all of a sudden you have a good PMD emerger. Coming in at number five and our last, what we would consider a nymph or a, a true emerger would be the Mayhem Midge, or the Mayhem Nymph, which is the Betis or the Blue Winged Olive coloration. This has a little tuft of foam on the top. It's not meant to float necessarily. In fact, most people that I know fish this, fish it on the bottom, but it can be killer if you add a tiny, tiny bit of floating to the foam here on top, and you can float this right in the surface film. And the fish, when they're eating cripples or newly emerged adults that haven't flown away, this is the key. All right, moving on to dry flies or at least things that are on the surface, number six, is my Betis Fripple. And so the Fripple, I had this one come uh, as a result of fishing a couple of times and I noticed that the fish were not eating the newly well-formed Betis adults. They were eating cripples. So I went to the vise and I came up with a way to have the wings be kind of nasty there on the surface and part of the body to hang through the surface film. So the wings and the little tuft there will float. The butt will hang through the surface. This is one of my must have betas patterns because as they're emerging, as they're on top as an adult, they'll eat it as well as coming back if they're in spinner form or even cripples that don't get off the surface ever. The fripple is a great one for that. Okay, another perennial favorite in the, in the uh, emerger mayfly category is Harrop's Last Chance Cripple. This is the Blue Winged Olive or Betis flavor. It's probably more popular for the PMD, but this is the, the Betis or Blue Winged Olive variation. Again, the idea is that this can be with the wings, they can protrude out of the surface, they can float on the surface while the butt is gonna hang down into the surface film. You can also add more uh, float into it and it will float all on top by itself. One of the newer patterns that we've fished with the last two or three years, and this is the Antonio's uh, Betis or Blue Winged Olive Adult. This is a CDC wing with a high-vis little post on there. 
Nice thing about this one, most people don't realize how well CDC floats if it's treated properly. So you gotta use something like a, an oil-based CDC uh, float and length Loon Loxa. These are great patterns. They sit a little lower in the surface film. They still float like a champ and they catch fish like crazy. Number nine on the list is the Improved Sparkle Done. And this is a Betis flavor. Um, very, very common fly. Again, I like patterns that sit, tend to sit in the surface film a little bit at least, so you can kind of have it pass off as an emerger or an adult. With deer hair wing, these things will float like a cork if you dress them properly. And most of these you're gonna wanna fish with lighter tippets anyways. That will allow them to drift nicely, allow it to not have as much uh, disturbance on the surface film as you're fishing them. That's a great pattern. And then number 10, and this one is again, a CDC style wing. And that's the McPhail's Olive Dunn and it, Quill Olive Dunn, and it is uh, similar to the Antonio's where it's a V-wing style CDC pattern and it still floats well. It has an awesome profile, very realistic looking, blue winged olive flavor again. You can take most of these and pass them off as PMDs just by changing the colors. So there you have it. That is our top 10 Betas or Blue Winged Olive patterns. Any of these patterns are great. I love, I fish all of them. For more information, click the link provided and check these out.